How is it going, everybody? I am Medwife Ajo. Our main aim is to make Africa a safe place to give it. That's why I educate you on anything that's pregnancy related, about labor, about C-sections, how to breastfeed, how to care for your baby, and family planning. Subscribe to join our community and press the notification bell so that you'll be notified if we release a new video. In this video, we'll be talking about family planning. Just something a little that would keep you going about family planning. And we'll be talking about some misconceptions about family planning. So to begin with, we've all heard family planning. Simply, family planning is just a, a method or a way by which people are able to decide when to have children the number of children to have. Okay, so that's just literally about family planning. The, there's only one family planning method that protects against sexually transmitted infections. Okay, so in a way, family planning would also prevent sexually transmitted infections when you use condoms, either male or female condoms. Now, there are a lot of benefits of family planning. Some are being stated in what I said earlier, but I would go over them again, okay? So the first thing I want to share with you is that family planning would help you to get pregnant when you want to get pregnant. So when you do any family planning method, you are able to decide when you want to get pregnant. The second one is you are able to have the number of children you can take care of so that you are not burdened, have you seen? Now the third one is You'll be able to take care of them. You'll be able to escape all pregnancy-related conditions because there are some conditions that are only associated with pregnancy. So if you have desired or you've planned your family well, you're able to escape some of such pregnancy-related conditions. Okay. The other thing family planning does is it's able to help you to make time for your children, make time for your family. If you have few number of children, you're able to take care of them well, give them the quality meals they need, give them the quality education they, they need. So it's very, very important you consider doing family planning. Now, someone will say, okay, I'm not yet married. Can I do family planning? Of course. So by the time we finish this, you'll get to know what is best for what, okay? So you would be informed. Now, anyone that goes to a family planning unit to have family planning done would be taken to something we call a flip chart. I have it here. Now, most people come to the hospital with an already preconceived mind. Like, they come and they're like, oh, auntie midwife, I want to do this one. Personally, I have had people come and they're like, oh, midwife, my friend has done this method and it's helping her. She looks beautiful. I also want to look beautiful. I will do the same. Wow, they, they don't even allow us to cancel them. They don't allow us to talk to them. They just go ahead because of what their friend has done. They also want to come and do. But everyone is unique. What would be good for your friend might not be good for you. So let's go along. For family planning, it's advisable that if you have a partner, you talk about it with your partner, okay? So when you talk about it with your partner, you agree. Now, some women will say, what about my, what if my partner doesn't want me to do any method? Because I've had that over and over again. People call me, they're like, oh, midwife, I want to do family planning, but my husband says he doesn't want, he says this, he says that, please, you would need to talk about it and you would need to agree on it, okay? So in this picture, there's a couple that have come to the family planning unit to be cancelled before they agree on the method they want to go for. Basically, family plan, we have the short term, we have the long term, and we have the permanent family planning method. That is why you would need to be counseled before you choose a family planning method. They ask you, oh, how long do you want to wait before you get pregnant? Then they'll tell you what you should expect. Okay, so for the short term methods, when you go, they'll show you this flip chart. Okay, for the short term methods, we have the oral contraceptives, which are the pills. And for the pills, if you are someone that will not remember to take them, please just 
advise yourself or that's why we are involving the partners have you seen so that your partner could remind you that oh it's time to take it if it was your mother that sent you there your mother will remind you that it's time to take it so it's very important that you go with someone that would remind you else you might forget have you seen so still on the short term we have the pills we have the condoms we have the injectables okay and we have something we call lactational amenorrhea i made a video on how that breastfeeding can be a temporal family planning method if you've not yet watched that video please go and watch it okay so that is what this is talking about how that when you are breastfeeding six months you are doing it on demand including day including night including any time the baby wants to be breastfed the hormone that releases the or helps with the breast milk production suppresses your ovulation so it makes you like it takes a while for you to even resume your menstruation for you to even get pregnant okay i've given you the gist but still watch that video now for the long-term methods we have the implant we have the, the implants are the ones we fix here okay the implants we have two types we have the one rod and we have the two rods the one rod is three years the two rods is five years then the iud the iud is what we insect okay it's called intrauterine device that's why it's iud okay now that is 10 years okay but this is just a brief overview then the other long-term method is the natural family planning method which we we talked about which like the calendar method and other natural methods you would want to share with us because i'm really interested in what you've been doing that has worked for you maybe you could share with us that we would all learn from it okay then now we are on the permanent family planning method for the permanent family planning method the one for the male is called vasectomy the one for the female is called bilateral tubal ligation okay so don't forget if you do the permanent one you are not going to have any baby again okay as i said earlier the only family planning method that prevents sexually transmitted infections is condom okay either the male or the female condom so if you've not yet read a post on the male condom you can go on facebook and read a post on the male condom then one of the things that most of us abuse are emergency contraceptives are emergency contraceptives family planning methods yes at some times they could be but don't use them as your main family planning method so a lot of people end up what happened my midwife she took my girlfriend took the contraceptive but how come she got pregnant again how come you know all of those questions are how did she take it when did she take it because yeah. so you don't use emergency contraceptives as the main family planning method okay so assuming you are you use the condom and it got best that is when you would quickly rush for an emergency contraceptive because you don't want to get pregnant assuming one of the things i just remembered is withdrawal method assuming you you planned with your partner that he will be doing withdrawal method and he ends up telling you that oh i'm sorry this time i couldn't withdraw really something small was able to enter that's when you can quickly rush for an emergency contraceptive but you're not making the emergency contraceptive the main thing okay so please and please you're supposed to take it within 72 hours but the right thing is you should take it as early as possible if you really want to prevent pregnancy and don't make it the main contraceptive method else your menstrual cycle will be distorted like your cycle will change okay so please don't make the emergency contraceptive your main family planning method now talking about withdrawal method withdrawal method can also be a family planning method but it requires so much discipline especially from the male so please if you and your partner have agreed on withdrawal or just remind him when you people are in the process so that he doesn't forget that uh, we have agreed on withdrawal okay so that the and the person too has to be honest with you 
if they are not honest with you, they could end up ejaculating into you and you would think he withdrew, but he never did. So in, in withdrawal methods can only be done with honest people, people that are, have so much self-control that can be able to hold themselves. Okay, so that is that for withdrawal methods. Now, some of the things you've heard about family planning, that is not true. I've put my flip charts down because, hey, this is, this is like, this is it, okay. Okay, so the first thing most people have told me about family planning is, what do I find, Joe? When, when you do the family planning, you don't menstruate. Where would the blood be? Would the blood accumulate in your uterus and end up giving you fibroids? No, please. Anytime you don't menstruate, after you've done a family planning method, it's because you never ovulated. Okay, most of the family planning methods suppress ovulation. So you might or might not menstruate. Sometimes you could menstruate some months, other months you might not menstruate, which is so normal with the family planning methods. So please be patient with yourself. Nothing is wrong with you. Family planning methods don't give fibroids. They don't exaggerate the fibroids you have. I mean, they don't cause problems if you have fibroids already, okay? Now, the second one is people say, oh, midwife, when you do family planning, you will not be able to enjoy sex, please. What I know is that some of the family planning methods can make your libido go high, others can make your libido reduce. Libido is just sex drive, okay? Can make you really want to have sex sometimes, and some people, their sex drive reduces which is very normal with some family planning methods, okay? However, it doesn't prevent you from enjoying sexual intercourse, please, it doesn't. So please just be patient with yourself, give yourself some time, and that is that, okay? The third thing is people say, when you do family planning, when you're ready to give birth, you don't get pregnant. Please, don't forget we talked about the three types, I talked about the short term, the long term, and the permanent. Okay, unless you've done the permanent one, that's when you will not be able to give birth again. But if it's either the short term or the long term, you would be able to give birth again. It's just the timing, okay? Some of the methods, so we'll be going deep into this, just stay connected, okay? Some of the methods, it takes a long time for your fertility to return. However, others, your fertility returns very early, okay? So I did a research on family planning, and I remember when I was sharing my questionnaire, I met this woman. She was so upset with me. She was like, she was my friend, so she realized I was doing a research on family planning. And she was like, ah, you, pa. I was like, mommy, what happened? They said, oh, I did this method, and I have only one son, and now he's old, and I've not had any. And it's because she didn't stop early. She didn't stop that method early. She was thinking, okay, man, when I stop this month, I'll get pregnant next month. Please, some of the methods are not like that, okay? It's only few of them that your fertility returns very soon. And still, everyone is unique because I met people while I was sharing my questionnaire that told me that, oh, when I stopped, I got pregnant the next month. So you see, that makes all of us so unique. So please and please, don't judge family planning by someone else's experience, experience it for yourself. Now, the fourth lie you've heard about family planning is, oh, family planning is a sin. When you do family planning, God is not happy with you. Is family planning a sin? Now, I'm giving this question back to you, okay? What does your belief say about family planning? What does your religion say about family planning? I know some people that they said they shouldn't do any family planning, especially the ones at the hospital, but they can do natural methods. You could share some with us, some natural methods you know, okay? Just share some with us and let's all learn, okay? However, for my end, I've received a lot of people that midwife, is it a sin for me to do it? What I will say about that is that for me, I believe in being able to cater for the number of children you have okay so if it is 20 you can take care of go ahead if it is five you can take care of if it is one you can take good care of 
just go ahead. It's all about giving them quality life. Has this video been helpful to you? Have you learned anything? Do you want more of this from us? Then please subscribe. And if you've not yet pressed the notification bell, please do. And share this video with anyone you know it would be of great help to. Thank you so much for watching. There will be an upcoming seminar, live seminar, okay, on family planning, where you could ask our resource persons your questions, okay? So please stay connected and take care of yourselves. Have a good day and stay blessed. I'm Red Wife Bye. Ha ha ha!